नमस्कार सांतानु प्रामाणिक वन सेकेंड फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम मेनी ऑफ माई स्टूडेंट्स मेनी ऑफ माई फ्रेंड्स आस्क मी शांतानु वाई आर मॉडर्न पेंटिंग आर सो डिस्टॉर्टेड एंड वी हार्ड दैट इट इज एब्सट्रैक्ट वाई दिज एब्सट्रैक्ट पेंटिंग and one thing i must tell you there are so many so many definition about the abstract painting but it is very simple it is just like abstract painting is painting with unknown forms that is abstract painting and there is no crime by painting an abstract work it's not crime now come to the modern painting and why it is deformed or distorted like we don't understand we have to ask the artist what you have done what was in your mind why should have we why should when we see mona lisa we don't have to ask leonardo da vinci what you are doing to do last supper we don't have to ask leonardo da vinci david michelangelo pieta we don't need the artist's presence or statement but in modern painting we have to study something now we have to go to those days old masters days they were making or creating rather a very realistic sculpture first i'll come to sculpture very realistic sculpture then you will feel the finger of a child is a really a finger of a child but it is stone it's not it's not real petal of a flower you feel it's really petal even here and in michelangelo's pieta if you watch carefully you will feel specially the dress of mother mary you just see soft cloth hard cloth even in base wood i think even metal all are made of a stone sometimes single stone but highly realistic and now sculptors were thinking about their identity all the works of sculpture are so realistic so realistic you can tell the highest form of realism so realistic two things will go strongly one is any artist as i told you in my previous youtube video that people wants to live along so they wants to create a mark in this planet before they die so there comes the crave for putting my identity in this planet so artists or sculptors i think thought that which one is my sculpture everyone everyone is so realistic who done which thing which sculpture done by which fire artist nobody will understand all are highly realistic one point and another point is what next we have reached the highest form of realism what next so the story can story 
it happened one of those great sculptor thought let's do one thing make a good sculpture and go to top of the hill and they throw it by rolling it will have so many strikes so many rapture then it might take a different kind of form but with the same structure maybe same feelings we might get a different kind of form here comes the next stage and i think strongly by this way by this path by this thought came august roda and in our country you will find ramkinkar beige see their sculpture it's not so realistic but you will have the same feeling it's not like my michelangelo but you will get the same feelings and now come to the painting a realistic painting in rembrandt's painting sometimes you will feel the greenish vein under the skin with the oil painting and so old not so modern painting and some people say that rembrandt is the greater portrait painter than leonardo da vinci very different kind of statement but what next but even see the rembrandt's last portrait you will see the very few brushing not so much brushing very few brushings but the same effect same skin tone and very astonishing the genius few brush strokes he made the self portrait i think it's his last self portrait you will see but his previous painting it was so realistic so realistic you can see the translucent effect of our skin in our modern masters even picasso even van gogh even indian artists if you see their students life work you will see they are doing very very beautiful and realistic drawing and painting but after that they thought where am i who am i they want to live a longer life so they distorted according to their own thoughts own feelings and depending on their subject also i'll ask you before criticizing or before moving away your eyes just try to understand like if you if you are not very much accustomed with classical music indian classical music especially western too but i'll give you an example of indian classical music especially you will not be able to understand the minute distortion or you will not be able to recognize the 
playfulness or the or the speciality of their notations you will not be able but if you listen to it regularly regularly for a long time then you will understand that this is a morning raga you will understand i myself felt those things those things i myself felt i i was able to recognize whether this raga is morning or noon or evening even late night likewise if you go through the visiting of modern painting 